What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, the last video was pretty depressing and sad for multiple reasons. Uh, one, we swamped the Rubicon. Two, I got copyright striked. Um, yeah, okay, so anyways, this video is gonna be about what to do if you swamp your foiler. And this specifies to a Honda. I mean, these are kind of just Honda only sort of videos. Um, because if you swamp a Yamaha or Can-Am or Honda like this, I mean, anything but a Honda, you know, Polaris, it's done for. But since this is a Honda, you know, there's hope. So I'll post a picture up on the screen now. And that is what it looks like when you swamp a Honda. That is uh, some of the damage. I'll post a video right here, what it looked like when it first happened. It hurts me just to look at it. <laughs> And as you can see, it is nasty, okay? We had a lot of stuff going to here and into, you know, the motor. And the oil was milky and bad. So for the, those of you that don't know, what happened is I had screen on the snorkel here. Uh, a piece of mud flew up, suffocated it, uh, cracked the air box right here, and then caused water to fly in the air box and fly into the motor and hydrolock it. But... Not only is that the worst thing, this is a 2020, and uh, it's kind of sad. But we didn't run it, so we're taking the proper precautions. So what we have in this bag here is two gallons of Rotella. That's the only kind of oil I run. Um, we have a new oil filter. I mean, uh, air filter and three oil filters uh, because, you know, I'm ready for oil change today because... That's part of the process when you swamp one of these. You're gonna to wanna to change your oil a lot. So that's why we got two gallons of Rotella. Uh, we already had a lot of gallons of Rotella right there, as you can see. Add that to the trash. So anyways, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is obviously when you swamp a foiler, don't drive it. I got pulled back and then, you know, once you're pulled back your trailer, loaded up on your trailer, do not start it. Try to avoid running it at all costs. And the first thing I did was pull the air box out, pull the air filter, took that apart, cleaned it the best I could, got everything out of there, you know, just to prevent more from going in the motor, you know, as much as possible. Uh, pulled the spark plug out, uh, drain the oil that's in it, and then turn it over, blow the spark plug out, which you don't want to do that right away. Uh, change the spark plug, and then run diesel through it, drain it. Um, Leave the drain plug out, pour diesel on it faster than it's draining. You know, that kind of gets a lot of it out. And then fill it up with diesel, about four, about a gallon. Crank it up, let it run for a couple minutes. Uh, drain it. Do that about three times. And this is not the politically correct way to do this, but this is the way I do it. And I think it's going to work. It's going to save me. And then run oil in it a couple times to get the diesel out two or three times. Um, and you repeat that process until your oil looks pretty clean. Cause you're gonna want to get all that stuff out of that. That's the number one thing to save this motor's life. And then I'm also running, where is it? I got a can somewhere. I'm running this here and this oil change is gonna have sea foam treatment. I uh, put a little bit in the gas too, a little bit too much cause now it smokes, but that's not, you know, top end smoking. That's too much sea foam. And then I've stuck sea foam in the oil just a little bit. Kind of helps slick up the motor, get everything out of there. Another thing to note is I love the mud puppy snorkel I had because Disconnect that, slides right out in the air box. No big deal, so you can separate your snorkel, work on it easy. It wasn't no big deal to pull this air box out and uh, reseal it. That's the first thing you're gonna wanna do, that's the main step. So now we're gonna drain this oil that's in there. I got some Rotella in there now that has ran. I'm gonna drain it out and then see how it looks. And then I'll put another oil flush in there, new filter, let it run a few minutes, see what happens. Uh, check the oil, see how it looks. Drain it, see how it looks, and then go from there. This right here is the spark plug I ran. Uh, these are the ones I get, the NGKs, the V-Power uh, spark plug. It's the best brand, best spark plug. That's what I ran. If you'll give me a minute, I'll find my tripod in this awful mess. Oh, there it is. So let's see how this oil looks. It's been sitting for two days since I cranked it up last to do the last flush. You see it's getting better. I don't know if you can see that. Still awfully watery. It smells like diesel though. I think there's just a lot of diesel in there still. So we'll drain that out and see what it looks like and then run it again with oil, see what happens. 
obviously that's one of the very important things. Clean this out the best you can. Get all that grud out of there. Get you a new filter. Don't try and clean your old one because you will not get all the mud and water out of it, no matter what. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and slap this air box back in before I crank it up again and before I do anything. So as you can see here, we've got the air box back in. Now we just gotta get this all put in and together and then we'll be good to go from there. This is the air filter oil I use, Bell Ray Total Performance Lubricants Filter Oil Foam. $15, $16 a bottle. It doesn't take much at all. You just put a little bit on there and rub it in all the whole thing. That's just to keep dust particles from passing through. It doesn't work with mud, but it works with dust. Now that we've got that done, it's time to drain the oil and see what we've got under there. We got all our sensors hooked back up. We'll see if that cleared our engine line. Um, it looks like it did. That's good, okay. Well, let's drain the oil and see what it looks like. Time to see what this oil looks like. Oh boy. Kind of scary. Surely it's not still water. It's probably diesel mix with water. That's just yeah, that's what it looks like. But it doesn't look dirty if you look at the streaks in it. I don't think there's much water. I think that's just diesel at this point. So we're going to run uh, oil change through it, Rotella, and a um, little bit of sea foam and a new filter. That looks pretty gross. Let's run all through and see what happens. Looks like we've got it all drained. Now we can put the drain plug back in. And then we'll fill it up with some good old rotary tea, buddy. Oh, look, she's draining the motor. Let's let her do her thing. You don't want, you don't want to leave anything. Let it all drain. Put that back in. We don't need it in real tight. We're just gonna finger tight it because they're not running it like this very long. Will for a little bit, but not permanent. Also, when you put your snorkel back together, where these plastic to rubber pieces go, um, like in the air box everywhere, make sure you uh, clean those and then retighten them so that you don't have any issues with, uh, what do you call it, dirt causing cracks and causing leaks. So now we got the drain plug in, everything back in, we're gonna fill it up with oil. got that like that let's see what the oil looks like now so we can compare it after we run it you see that's the oil it's not thick anyways but it's golden just like how it should be let's crank it up and see what she does new air filter everything so we ain't cranked it since oil's in new filter okay ready Here. 
we're gonna let it run a couple minutes and then we're gonna see how the oil looks. Let it get up to operating temp and everything. So we'll go ahead and give it a couple revs. As you can see, the oil still got some diesel in there, so we're gonna drain it again, change another filter, and right, we're not gonna change the filter this time. We'll probably do one more flush and then change it. We'll see. Next oil change, keeping the same filter. Gonna go run this, run about half a tank of gas through it with some sea foam, and then yeah, change the oil and change the filter. All right, y'all, I well, hope you enjoyed that video. That's the best thing you can do when you swamp one, and then you just have to hope for the best. And only time will tell what will happen. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.